privacy friendly in the way that users uh, cannot harm each other. Um, one of the things is, for example, um, that uh, you must be able to lie if you use a, um, a location application. For example, uh, there's a difference between Foursquare and Gowalla. In Gowalla, you you're, cannot lie. You cannot say that I'm checking in in this location that is somewhere else. In Foursquare, I can say I can look up a location. You can say I'm actually here. Um, so um, uh, Gowalla gives you less uh, freedom as a user than than uh, Foursquare does. Um, if you want to protect yourself, you need to be able to lie because if you don't, but if you don't check in. If you don't want to protect exactly, yourself. but but. Exactly, but um, if you have built uh, the habit of checking in uh, regularly, then people might ask questions if you don't check in, and not updating your, your location might become a statement in itself. Okay, so that's one thing she said. Okay, another uh, part is um, that may be important that the fact that information is public, there are, I mean, developers have. An, an idea about uh, something being public, public as, a, as a, a, a binary switch, as a one or a zero. Um, if you uh, check in at a location, uh, that might be public. Um, but if you do this with a mindset that um, it will only be seen by people that are actually following you, or people that, uh, by some coincidence, come to your account, you don't want, for example, that um, your presence or the fact that you have been in a location shows up in an overview page of the location itself. So developers have the mindset that as soon as information is public, you can use it in just in any way, whereas the privacy impact can be really different uh, for people. Um, uh, compare this to um, uh, Facebook, at some point in time, um, the pages you're a fan of, you could see that on the fan page, so you, maybe you're a fan of some political movement, and your picture shows up on the fan page of that political movement. At some point in time, this, oh, well, this information is public, we can just put it on your profile page. But the privacy impact of having all of your interests centralized on your profile page is a lot different than the fact that your um, the Thank your being fan of is um, publicized on that um, other page. So you can think of a lot of uh, stuff here as well that um, the act of publishing your location, you have to see this in the context. And as a developer, you have to develop uh, metaphors to make that clear to your users that this information will be used in some way or another. For example, what you see in in uh, Gowalla, they have this metaphor of dropping something. So, if you drop something on a place, you're actually aware that you're leaving traces, so that it's a lot more comprehensible for users that um, if you, other people come to that same location, they will see what I've dropped here. This is just a real-world um, metaphor for something really technical. Um, but it, it makes the privacy impact uh, clearer. Okay, that's a lot of blah blah. Um, what I would like to have a discussion about is the last uh, point. And there's a component of um, mobile apps that I haven't uh, discussed. Um, who has heard of uh, Skyhook? Skyhook Wireless? Uh, Werner? Uh, Mich? Bert? Okay, so. Um, what happens if your iPhone requests your location? So you, you launch an application, it can be anything, just one of those lists I gave, Flickr, Google Maps, whatever. Your iPhone says this application wants to use your location. What it does then, if you say yes in the background, it has three sources of information. One we know is uh, GPS, and that has relatively little privacy empty. It's just a radio. You receive a signal. You're not actually transmitting something back to that GPS uh, satellite. 
And you post that uh, signal, or the location you get from that signal, to your application. So that's pretty straightforward. Most people understand it. Now, what actually um, happens most of the time is that you do not only capture uh, GPS radio signals, you also capture um, Wi-Fi hotspots around you. You also capture, um, that's also uh, something we know, is, well, the GSM antennas. I mean, remember from a few minutes ago, your uh, telco can follow where you are, but also your device itself, it can sense the proximity, nearness of those um, antennas. And what it does, and that's, that's um, was, a, was a step where um, some parties have actually bypassed the telcos. You used to need telco providers to determine location. What some parties have done, like Skyhook and Google, they have driven around Europe and the United States and they have captured both Wi-Fi signals and the antennas. So they drive around, they receive a GPS signal and at every location they store the strength of the signal of these antennas is such and such and strength of the Wi-Fi signals in the neighborhood is such and such. The funny thing is, for example, that one of the first customers of Skyhook were the telco providers, because the telco providers didn't actually store the location, the latitude and longitude of their GSM antennas in a proper way. Uh, for example, if police goes to the telcos now, they get um, the actual antennas, not the location. So the police then again uses uh, sky.